Hello, welcome along to episode 168 of Adventures in Pop. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, going on about the album I released a couple of weeks ago, uh, my sixth album, in case you didn't know, called Strange Alien, um, available while stocks last um, on your favourite streaming platform, and there's a long video on YouTube of all the tracks put together. What more could I ask you to indulge in and enjoy um and it's just it's it's going along um it's getting it's getting promoted i'm working with um a pr company called liberty pr based in brighton who are helping and on a different episode um i will come back to that and maybe do a proper kind of review of how it's done what what came out of the 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 pr um how you kind of indicate success because it's quite a nebulous thing actually um and talk about i guess talk about overall you know was it worth it in this episode however um i just want to talk about some new music simple as that um the situation is and i've, I've talked about this before and it's a bit of a it's a bit of an odd one for anybody who's just thinking oh you've written some music why not just play it and shut up i just want to explain that um i'm sort of already thinking that the next album which I need to start, you know, putting out releases of soonish in a few months. Um, the next album, uh, I've got a whole bunch of tracks that I'm thinking of as, you know, as much more dance oriented. So I'm thinking, let's make it generally a kind of a dance album. What a good idea! And then um, I get to the point where I, I think, well, I've got enough tracks there. That's great. Um, I sort of draw a mental line. I think anything beyond that, I'm now onto something else. Um, weird as it might seem. And then, of course, then, you know, as you find yourself writing something else that feels a bit dancey, and you think, well, forget about where I drew that line. Let's put that into the mix with those and maybe take that one out and put it over here. So I'm I'm messing around at the moment with a whole bunch of newish songs and trying to work out, do they, do they fit on a dance-orientated, set of songs or will they come later and then of course you know i'm writing some new stuff it seems to me that after i've done the dance album thing um there might be something uh more reflective coming along after that now this is we're projecting way into the future but the reason i say that is one of the songs i've written um just to me it may not be the best song I've ever written or any of those things. I'm not, like, so excited about it that I just have to tell you because the world is going to change when it gets released. I doubt. Um, but what I'm liking about it is that it sounds refreshingly different from lots of other stuff. And I'm not entirely sure why, because sometimes you achieve a sound and you're not sure really how you got there, but it's distinctive. And that's that's the thing I think that is quite nice about this. So this is a song called um, You Never Will. And as has been the case quite a lot recently, uh, I was fiddling about with a melody um, and then thought, oh, I wonder if I've got some spare words sitting in the word stack of songs that never really happened but you know i got as far as writing lots of words down always by the way always keep those words they are gold when you get into a situation like this where you you're coming up with something that feels like a viable track but you've got no you, you don't really know what it's about you've got no words at all go back to your stored up words where a song never really happened and plunder that box because it's been so useful it's been so valuable and and you can obviously when you then apply them to a completely new track, you're going to want to change some words here and there. You might want to change whole verses, but at least you've got something to go on. You've got something to start with. That's really helpful. So, song is called You Never Will. The, all the words have been written previously. I'm sure I had to play with a few just to make them fit into the track. Um, and as I say, it has a kind of dreamy quality, partly made up of the way the vocals sound and partly from the track itself. Obviously, I'm going to play the whole thing to you um, with just a very simple lyric video just so you can sit back and enjoy that at the end of this. But just to um, give you an indication of what I'm talking about, I'm going to separate out um, 
the sound of the, the vocals right at the very beginning of the song and then give you a little taste of what the instruments are doing. Um, just, so you, just so you can hear how that then gets put together into this particular track, which, um, following on from what I was just saying before about, you know, all, trying to work out where all these tracks are going to sit, this is likely not to get released for a very long time. So um, I don't think there's any harm in bringing it to your ears now. And knowing that probably by the time it gets released, if it ever does, it would have gone through some other little process of shining it up before the day. And it might sound a little different. It might sound very different. I don't know yet. So the song's called You Never Will. Here's what uh, the vocals sound like at the very beginning of the track. Who's been filling up your head with something that somebody said? Why didn't you talk to me and let me try to give you the facts? Somebody's been telling you lies, the so-called friends never felt a surprise. It took me a while to realise they were talking about my back. Lovely. Okay, and then... Uh the instruments, just to give you a flavour of what they're doing together. And there aren't that many of them. Good. Um, I, I will also say this is one of those songs, this is, doesn't happen very often, where I think I added an, uh, an acoustic guitar into the mix at some point um, and then sort of felt it, it sounded so nice that I just let it run without anything, without any words actually. It's, it's an actual instrumental break don't have very many of those in my songs for you know for a good eight bars and it just it just is lovely and then of course I, I was listening to that and thinking well eight bars of just you know lovely chord changes and a nice acoustic sound I mean it's, it's good but what about putting something over it so I've actually um I don't do this very often forgive me I I have put a guitar solo that I have played, it's not a sample, it's me, into the space um, that was, you know, just calling out for some solo instrument to come and do something. So, again, it, I don't think it's, you know, it, it's not quite Pink Floyd, but having a go at a guitar solo um, in the context of something that is, as I say, quite dreamy and ethereal. So, you know, I wasn't going to suddenly be an axe man. Um, have a little listen to that bit. You have never known me, and you never will. I think that'll do now, really. Why don't we just put the whole song together, uh, enjoy, relax, and I'll be back very soon with uh, the next episode um, and probably looking a little bit more at the progress of the Strange Alien album and, you know, and where to next. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I love it when you watch. Take care. See you next time. Who's been filling up your head? There's something that somebody said Why didn't you talk to me And let me try to give you the facts Somebody's been telling you lies Your so-called friends never felt a surprise It took me a while to realise They were talking about my back Your paranoia betrays a guilty mind Before it Maybe you're going in for the kill But 
you have never known me, and you never will. I think you should hire a detective. Wouldn't that be much more effective? Simply following me. I began to despise all of your friends Behaving like spies Weaving together a fabric of lies And why I don't understand Your paranoia makes you so unkind You don't want to know Because you made up your mind Maybe you just came for the thrill I never know me, and you never will. Before it 